Hi guys, it's uh, Hunter here from the H and A and H RC Group. Uh, I got an upgrade here from a, one of the trail trucks on the channel, which is your X4. Um, uh, the other person cooperation on this channel has a Gen 7, but I wanted to replace these tires since, in what conditions they or where I live, they're sandy. It's really just really sandy. They get gummed up easy, and they don't get good traction. But so I got. Crawling higher axes mounted on some internal impulse bead locks. Um, they're a little bit skinnier. You see there, but the higher axe is a little bit taller. Um, not that much, um, but yeah. I also wanted the internal bead locks just because then they're watertight, go through puddles and stuff like that. These have holes in them. So there's water in them right now. They're really, really heavy compared to these ones. Um, but yeah, uh, these are the Proline Hyraxes. I heard they're a great tire. Um, these they run for about thirty-five bucks. Um, part numbers will be in the description. They are an internal bead lock, so there's only six screws that you have to undo to take apart the bead lock. It's a uh, three-piece uh, with a ring and three-piece design with a ring inside. Um, we got. Pretty nice sidewall treading. We got independent blocks on here. Um, they don't look like they'll get gummed up too easy, but I've heard they're really good on rocks, and I've heard some really good things about them. Those little holes right there are for the Proline brass uh, rotor weights, which make it imitate that there's a brake caliper behind it, but it gives it some more unsprung weight on the bottom of the crawler. So yeah, let's get these installed. So pretty simple. I took all the wheel nuts off on the old one. Just you kind know, of slap them on. Fairly simple. Um, they all just kind of pop on. Um, rubbing shouldn't be too much of an issue. I can fully compress the back and all the shocks on them. Uh, I was worried, but since these are a little bit skinnier, I had heard rubbing come from it when you turn all the way. Um, but yeah, these look pretty aggressive, and uh, I'll make a run video with them soon. And uh, uh, update on that front T-lock servo. It's uh, Trax is sending me a new one. It burnt out, so I just have it set in the lock position. But yeah. Um, hope you guys have having a good day, and this is uh, my Proline Hyrax view. Thanks, guys, for watching.